Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And I'm gonna do another shimmer bloom pour with a series of flowers here. Pour out some pillow to get things started. And spin it out. I just want a thin layer of pillow everywhere. Oops, I can see that there's a glob in here, so let's get that now. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know, I thought there was. Okay, maybe not. But let's spin nonetheless, and I might need a little bit more. Hello. See, I feel like there's something there. Couldn't really grab it, so. And let's just grab this and kind of pull it out over the edge a little. Oh, I think I might need a little bit more pillow than that. I think half the trick to this is not having too much pillow. Because I don't want it to like super stretch, but also I need enough to blow my blooms out. So... There we go. Let's just spin that a little bit, level it out. And I'm gonna grab. All right, so now I thought I would try, I've done some reds, blues, purples. I'm gonna try and do um, yellow, some yellow flowers. So let's have some fun, we'll get right into it. I have mixed up several different colors. And the first one I'm gonna put down, I usually start with the boom gel, but I'm gonna start this time. I'm gonna go kind of dark to light to medium to dark to yellow to, I don't know what I'm gonna do actually. So that just sounded silly. But I like to start with um, a paint on the bottom. So it doesn't get really dispersed or flocculated, whatever the correct term is. But I want that pigment to hold up real well. So this is a Matisse structure and it's the Australian Sienna. It's kind of this beautiful, um, I want to call it an orange gold, orange yellow, yellow orange, but it's a dark yellow orange instead of a super bright yellow orange. Yeah, there's definitely something in this. Hold on, I'm going to get that out. I had a glob in there. Sorry, everyone. All right, now let's just put one more up here. Okay. So there's my base color. Now let's go in with some Color Art Submarine, not Color Art, this little piggy, Submarine. And I don't want these petals to be too big. I want to kind of keep them tight if I can. But I got a lot of colors, a lot of different layers of yellow. So I just want to put a little bit down. I can relayer if I would like. Um, I think I'll put some ball gown on top of that for a little fun interference. I'm just gonna kind of put that little bit around the ball gown. So hopefully it gets a little bit blown out with that Australian Sienna and create some fun light reflection. This ball gown is probably one of my very favorites. It creates this beautiful shimmer and it's subtle and just gloriously beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna put some Harvest Gold. Just a little bit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just a little bit. Right there. Okay. Now a little bit of the lemon sorbet. 
nice little bright color. I'm getting to have a lot here. <laughs> I really want this um, to lighten things up and cause contrast on top of that. But now, some cappuccino. I want contrast. Well, here we go. This is getting to be too much paint, I think. But I wanted all these different colors, so. <laughs> There's the problem. Stick to like three, four colors and you won't run into this issue. I had a really great pour last night where I just had four colors, so they didn't get away from me. I'm going to actually, I know I'm talking about too much, but I mean, I might as well embrace it now. I want a little more of this submarine. I want to make sure I get lots of yellow, that really bright, fun yellow. So I'm just going to come back on top with a little bit of that. I don't want it to get buried on the bottom. And if you got a lot of pillow, that bottom color can get really picked up really well. But I don't have a lot of pillows, so I want to make sure yellow is the star of the show here. All right. Now, I love the black with it, but I'm afraid that the black cell activator next to that will get a little muddy looking. So I'm going to go down with white first and then black. I'm still going to do black. Let's put white down. <coughs> let's double it up with some black here. And let's blow. white and black and black So far so good. I kind of like how tight these booms are, but I'm going to spin it a little so I know that they're going to go off. So I'm not going to spin it a lot though. I got to go kind of delicate on my spin. But that's why I spun the pillow out before so I didn't have to do as much spinning. I don't have as much to get off. I just want to stretch it out a little. There's the black. Boy, that didn't want to move at first. Oh, whew, getting a little lightheaded. One more bloom to go. White. I feel like there's too much cappuccino, but I do have a nice amount of yellow. Pat 
having trouble getting this going. Gonna leave that be. Let this pool up. Let me um, collect my breath. So I'm a little lightheaded after all of that nonsense. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And because I'm impatient. And don't want to wait. <laughs> if I'd have waited, that would have come up naturally, but I didn't feel like waiting. So let's just do a little spin. I don't want to go too crazy. Right. I just wanted to get these blooms to the edges without it going off. Okay. Now, I've been using the thin end of the skewer to create these kind of petals, but I think this time I'm going to use the thick part here. I may regret that. Oops. I'm just kind of trying to follow somewhat of an idea of where some of these things already are started. Okay, I wanted a little more definition of those petals because I'm going to come in with a thin skewer and create my little frills. I like my frills. <clears throat> All right. So I think now what I've done in the past is pulled out some flower shape petals, but I think right now what I'm going to do is do my leaves first because I ended up trying to put my leaves in around where I pulled out and my design and I don't want to do that. I think I just want to and I put my, I'm going to have a leaf coming here. And so I have this um, green gold. There. I'm going to put it here also. Coming here. And that got a little bit away from me, that's for sure. Um, got a blank space here, so let's go on and put some a leaf here. Going this way. Now, I don't feel like I need one in between every flower. I think I'll leave that blank, but maybe put one here. Not here. It's, you know, whatever you're feeling. So that's the green gold with the rich gold. And now I've got some, this little piggy asparagus. I'm just going to drop a little bit extra in there for a little color variation. It's supposed to be thicker on this end and thinner on this one, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Didn't exactly work out that way. All right, let's put our, um, for this, I'm just gonna use a plain black cell activator. Here, and grab my little blowing tool if I can find it. And here we are. You can use a straw, you can use your mouth, you can use whatever you want. I'm just trying to get kind of a small area here. That one drop there, that was a big drop. Let 
one drop here. That'll do, apparently. <laughs> One drop here. This is kind of a backward shaped leaf, so let's see if I can create a better shape. That'll do. I know this is kind of tedious to watch. Yep, I kind of like that. I'm going to leave that. And one drop here. Right. All right, now we're gonna have some fun with the skewer. I'll start with my leaf shapes. I do like the colors. First, I thought there was way too much cappuccino, but it just kind of outlined the yellow and created this beautiful contrast for it. So I'm not all, all that unhappy with it. Okay, I could just leave it like that, but I kind of, I kind of dig it when I create these little, I know leaves, they don't actually have this pattern. They've got the veins in them though, so I, when I first started doing this, I thought, oh, I'll create the veins of the leaves, but yeah, I just like it. Well, that paper towel is kind of toast. Get a different one here. Okay, so I'm going to probably pull that a little bit this way. because you can have fun, it's fluid art, so you can create whatever shape and whimsical pattern you want, right? That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so, Um, this one, I think I'll pull over this way. I like adding a little direction when I'm pulling them. You don't have to. You can just go straight out. I'm creating, I'm just making these completely unrealistic anyway, so I'm just having some fun with the direction they're going in. And this one I definitely wanted to shape around that way. I'm just kind of uh, dragging it up towards the flower when I get to my last little spot. Okay, and this one I'm going to definitely drag it over. Oh, that didn't drag very well, did it? And I have a hair here, so I'm going to get that up. Good. And the tip got ruined. That's easy to fix, though, so. I'm not real happy with that at all, so let's just take it off. I mean, it's just easy to take off right now. Let me come back through here and pull it more straight up like that. Okay, I 
if I got a hair or something there. It feels like it. It's acting like it. Come back over, smooth this out one more time. And when I'm all done, I'll do another little spin. It'll just kind of smooth that out a little. Okay. <coughs> now we're getting to have some rough on. I could leave it like that. That's pretty. But I won't. <laughs> Sorry. I know me. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun here before the day is done. I kind of like them reaching out to the world, my little tendrils. So that's the idea there. All right. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of design to the edges of these. Sometimes I'll swipe or wipe my tool, sometimes I won't. If I don't, then I get whatever color my skewer was last in as kind of a little trail. And I like that. Not all the time, but sometimes I do. Fun, fun, fun. I like the little fun flowers. And here's where I've got some of the yellow and the interference gold. So it's going to leave that trail. And I like it. I'm not trying to overthink this, just trying to have some fun with it. Start thinking about it too much, you'll probably mess it up. Not necessarily, but I would probably mess it up. Okay, one little spin, and not a big one. And I can look and see if I like what's going on. I honestly don't think I like these coming off because it's the brown, and it's very flocculated. Normally I like them. So I think I'm going to grab my paint stick again. And kind of erase that.
easy to do right now at this stage. I don't mind that little bit there. Well, shorten that up a little. I know I'm getting nitpicky, but I don't mind that one because it's like wrapping around to the other flower. But here I'm just going to kind of grab this because I didn't like what it was doing. Fluid art. So if you're unhappy with something, zhuzh it. Can always zhuzh. Okay, I think that's better, but now what I want to do is just come around here and bring this back in where that was. Now, let's see, I have to, I want to fix that too. Little spin. Okay, I like it. I've got some pretty, I think this reminds me of autumn. Let's come down and take a closer look. And now I know it takes a while. It's probably not that fun to watch, but that way you can just kind of see it happen if you're interested. So I know, thank you for being patient if you watched all of this. Um, I'm pretty happy with the overall composition. I'm happy with the amount of yellow I got. At first I thought it was going to be too much brown, but that's a beautiful little contrast. And let's see if we can get some of the shimmer to show up here between that lemon sorbet and the ball gown. Submarine. There's lots of goodness in here. And it's going to look really pretty when it dries and is resin. So um, there you have it. So if you stuck with me for that long. Thank you for watching. And until we meet again, have fun painting everyone. Bye now.